Hello, this is Vance, and this is Wednesday, August the 13th, 2014. These are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Price had reached a high of 97.48 just before the open. Uh, right, uh, oops, right here. 97.48 was at a low of 97.06. And it was interesting to note that I talked about it this morning that it was uh, initially anyway, um, price really held between where the range was yesterday. Had the kind of this, this range with the hot tops, the narrow trading range. And so you can see initially the prices stayed out there. Failed out the top, almost reached the overnight high. And then from there, that was just before the open. And so when you look at it, let me just kind of stretch this out a bit. Price got to the bottom of this range. I had this line here. It uh, formed, price made a new high, first entry, second entry long right here off this bottom. I wrote this chart, this uh, right in here. Uh, the uh, bottom of this trend channel lifted it up. Price made its way up here. And then uh, at the top here, you really had to try to go up the first time, fail, try to go up the second time. You could have shorted here because it's really near the in the top of those, uh, where it was yesterday. Um, the problem was it's a little bit aggressive trade. I didn't really mark it. Uh, but it did fail, and then it started moving back down. So you could have taken that trade. You can see this, this little doji went up uh, a little bit higher, and then automatically then then failed. And I mean, I've talked about this before. I think they call that uh, that's, a, that's a pattern. They call it a shooting star. So prices came up here, and anytime you see a doji like that, you see failure. This one here too, like that. Doji came up, failed, and then turned down. A little doji here, turned down. So you can see that it happens quite often, and so that's something to. Uh, it's not a not a pattern that I typically look at or trade, but it's just something to keep in mind. It's 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 there, uh, you know. If you if you're looking for, price made its way down, broke this trend channel, you know, attempted to go up the first time, failed, attempted to go up the second time, and an immediate failure, and it was really like a measured move, and off this bottom. Now it's at the bottom of this channel. Now, whether you take that particular trade or not, it's, it's really you know, it's to be seen. But you know, your first move down here, pulls back the first time here. Uh, fails, pulls back the second time, and then that failure. So, I mean, you could actually put it down to here, more like this. You know, we had the break of the trend channel, pulled back, failed to a new low. Could you've gone long here? It could have been. It could be a setup for a long. You know, if you if you see at support, I didn't really like it because it was kind of chopping up here. And you know, at this point in time, the trend it looks like it's you, know, you broke this channel. You really need to think he's going to be testing to a new low. And the test might be coming pretty early. But then when it, when this failed right here, this faltered. This was really the short. This really turned out more like a second entry, a second entry short. You know, price uh, moves up here, pulls back, and then fails right here. So this would be your first entry, pull back, second entry. Or you could say it was to, uh, you know, it was a move up, pull back, two legs back to the trend channel, and then failure right here. Now that's really pretty much the only trade <clears throat> that you can take uh, prior to where the open, uh, prior to the uh, news report. And as you can see, price moved down. There's no way to get in here. You did have a couple of pullbacks here, but this is right at 10:30. The report came out. It uh, you know, can and pull back. I, I I marked this morning too, like this this line right here. And I was thinking this is. Price came down here for the first time, second time, and then failure. Now this would have I, I didn't take this trade. Is on the EMA. You could make the argument that it was like a, a measured move down, perhaps. Uh, uh, it was a measured move down. I mean, you can see this pullback here. The problem that I had with this particular trade is that it's right at the at ten thirty, and at ten thirty, this box really is kind of like a no go zone. You don't know how the price is going to react as it gets closer to the open or closer to the the DOE report. After 11 o'clock, now you're getting past that. So just 11 o'clock is a nice setup here. You've got the trend channel in down here. This kind of reconfirms it. You have two pullbacks. Price goes up first time, pulls back again. Then you have this failure. It's a nice bar. You think you're going to retest the bottom. You've got room to get out, and it does move its way down. Quote pulls on the first time. Another two moves down. Now this is the second entry long. It's a bit of a trap. There's some overlapping bars here, but you can see these stems. Price can't stay down here. It's an aggressive trade. Uh, it, it is a, a reversal pattern from down to the bottom here. You can see this first move, second move, second entry long. Um, as I said, it's a little bit more aggressive trade, um, and, but it does trade its way up. We almost had a test of it right down here. 
Uh, it does move its way up. You get your 15 ticks. You see where the hesitation was right at the top of this channel here. Then we have one pullback, and then we have another pullback. This is a long, um, you can even say this two pullbacks. You'd say that first attempt to go higher, first attempt to, uh, this is a first attempt to go uh, higher here, pulls back. Second attempt pulls back. And then this is like, the, the, or pardon me, first attempt to go lower, second attempt to go lower. So let me just show you that. We have the first pullback here, pulls back to here. We have another uh, two legs are a little bit larger and right down to this area. This is a bit of a trap. Now, it took a while to work out this particular trade. You might have gotten shaken out of it because certainly if you, if you entered right here, it moves its way up, comes back down, put give you some heat. And so you might have gotten shaken out on this trade, but then there's another opportunity to get in. I mean, it would have worked. Your stop is down here anyway. Whether you hold through all this stuff, I don't know. That's kind of that's the challenging part. I wanted to mark it to show that it really, you know, there was an opportunity to get in here. And certainly this one, I maybe we should mark this in blue. When it does move down here, this is a really strong bar. And you can see that as soon as it broke through here, it really kind of launched its way out. And uh, this was a, uh, an excellent move. The best move, obviously, was down here. It's kind of an iffy little trade, pretty aggressive trade. But if you had the opportunity, if you did see it, see it and get in at this level, um, you would have uh, been able to hold on. Your runners were easily safe. I mean, especially break even plus one. You got your your contracts off. It did came back to retest this area, but then it moved its way up. And you can see that uh, from then on, it was really the trend up. A couple of other pullbacks. And you had a pullback down to here. If your first pullback failed, a second pullback. You can see this is from this. It makes this no low down to here. Pulls back. There's almost equal legs, by the way. Almost the same size on the closes. Price comes down. You can see these little wicks here. Again, the same thing. You know, like down here. You see prices resisting down here. Can't stay down there. It's like there's dips down here and buyers are ready to step in. Then uh, it's also a second entry long. New high, first entry, second entry. You can see the two pullbacks here. Uh, Matching lows again. We had this. We had these dojis. Price is an indecision, but it can't come down here. Double bottoms here, so you could have gotten in on this one. Maybe you should, have, but the other thing is about the trend channels at the EMA. Maybe not the greatest bar to go long on, but there is room to get out. And once it clears this area, these double tops here, we had another launch up, and that was really it for the move. And you're always looking for this this measured move. Price comes up here, pulls back down to this area. You're looking for this measured move. If you look at it. It's almost a perfect measured move here. Like the first move up pulls back, the second measured move up here. So it's something to, to keep in mind. The rest of the day had this channel working up here. You could see that there was some hesitation in the midpoint, pulled back down here, and this is now the end of the day. And now we're uh, price just reopened here now. You can see that there's some hesitation down in these areas again. And that's pretty much it. So uh, overall, it's good, like a big range day. Anytime you have the DOA report, you kind of steady stay out from this area. But you can see right after the report came out, they're kind of held up there and then we had these pretty strong moves out of there um, yeah, you know at this point tight trading ranges here tight trading range right here one at kind of at the bottom right this in this area certainly in this mid bid point but in these ranges you see continuation price traded up into this range up and out trade up into this range up and out and so it's something to uh, this was a pretty nice move and hit you get on this one you only needed to trade in here and Maybe one of these trades here, and um, that would have helped you. Held you well. I mean, the other thing is, if you held down here and your stop was a break even plus one, this was a pretty decent move. If you could have held on right to the almost the end of the day, as long as you played it right, you say this is uh, you're in at uh, right at 90, 96, 86, uh, 97.12, 97.47, all the way up to uh, 97.79. So that was a, a pretty decent move. Um, this one was a good move too. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, you get the unless you were in here, you could have held through this report. Uh, it would have probably given you enough room. Your 15 ticks and your stop would have been break even plus one. You could have hold, held through that. I didn't. I mean, but uh, you could have done that. But certainly uh, in here worked out pretty good. Anyway, that's it for now. If you have any questions? Uh, you please let me know. This is Vance. Bye for now.